is really the formula to manifestation is non-attachment equals attraction. And when we look at the idea of what is the difference between 3D creation versus 5D creation? Well, 3D creation means that I am leveraging the external environment to get what I want, meaning that it's going to take me a lot of force and it's going to take me a lot of effort. Whereas 5D creation is I'm leveraging my internal environment, meaning that I'm making myself a vibrational match with the thing that I desire that is over here. So that way the thing that I desire that's over here actually comes to me versus me having to go to it. So 3D creation is chasing essentially and 5D creation is attraction. And when we look at this idea of attachment, which is one of the most fundamental components of of law of attraction and manifestation is being in a state of non-attachment because attachment generates this fear and thus repels the things that you want. It pushes away, even though you don't intend it to, it's ultimately going to push away what it is that you want. If you think about dating, anytime you're super attached to another person, you're going to be repelling that person. Now, I'm not talking about not having a healthy attachment to another being, but realize that the more fear-based attachment there is to a person or a thing, the less it shows up and the less it wants to show up because there is no attraction. This concept can be very difficult if we're holding an underlying belief of not being whole, not being enough, or not being complete. Because just from that space alone, you're most likely going to be chasing after the things that you want in life. If you don't already believe that you are enough or that you are worthy or that you are whole, then you're going to be searching for that outside of yourself. And again, this goes, this lends to the idea of 3D creation, which is how a lot of people are making things happen in their lives is through that, that force. And it's very excessive and it creates a lot of fear. And while you may get results, often it takes a lot longer to get results because in the 3D way of thinking and doing, there is a very strong buffer of time, meaning that it may take, months or years for something to show up. Whereas if I'm leveraging the vibration of love, if I'm tapping into source energy and I'm actually becoming the vibrational match of what it is that I want, then I'm now magnetizing it in. I'm now attracting it in. So versus me going out there and trying to chase it down and make it happen and force it, I'm actually drawing it to me. And I know that this, this is why I talk a lot about this idea that when you are creating from a 5D space, you're taking far less action. It, may, it doesn't mean you don't take any action. You may be inspired to do something, but it's really about becoming the energetic match to what it is that you want. Meaning that if I want to create, say, more wealth and more abundance in my life, well, how can I now, in this moment, let's say without the job or without the huge paycheck, how can I begin to feel wealthy? How can I begin to feel abundant? How can I begin to feel financially free now without actually seeing it? So this is 5D creation. This is 5D manifestation versus 3D would be, okay, so this is what I'm making right now. So let's say I'm making $10,000 and I want to make $300,000. Okay. So there's quite a big gap there. So then through 3D creation, my mind goes, okay, so in order to make this much money, then I would have to get this job or I'd have to get these five jobs potentially. And so then you go out in the world and you work hard, you work, you know, you do a lot of processes to try to get to that end result. Versus 5D creation is here's my intention. How would I feel if I had this? So how would I feel if I had $300,000 right now? How would I feel? And every day you program your subconscious mind to tap into the feeling of that state and you harness that energy. And so again, you attract it to you. But this idea of non-attachment comes in because if we need that thing to be happy, if we need that thing in order to feel abundant, right? If I need the money first in order to feel abundant, well, I'm always going to be repelling it. And this is why, you know, often people get frustrated with the action component because you work and you work and you work, yet you're not seeing the results because there's an underlying belief of unworthiness that is keeping it away from you. And so that's why this work, the work of manifestation is really the internal work 
but it's so closely related to the spiritual work and the self-love work because how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself is going to directly impact what it is that you're able to attract into your life. And you're going to be a lot happier of a person if you stop chasing things and you start attracting things. And I'm not just talking about people, I'm really talking about in relation to everything. Once you realize that on a vibrational level, you are no different than what it is that you're trying to attract, then you can line up with that vibration and thus bring that experience to you. So I hope that this video today was helpful for you guys. If you are either new to the spiritual journey or you've been on the spiritual path for quite a while now, but you're not necessarily seeing the results that you want or you're not getting the progress, then I highly recommend either the spiritual toolkit that I've created, which literally breaks down everything that would you would need from self-love to manifestation to taking your power back in any area of your life. There's also a bonus 30 days to financial abundance meditation in there for you. In addition, I do have a three-week training transformative coaching program. There's also a six week program, but I recommend this if you're really ready to take that next step and work with someone one-on-one so you can begin to see and have your breakthrough. I believe we all reach a point on our path, which I did myself, where we're kind of hitting a brick wall. And at that point is, you know, we've learned so much, we've done so much, but yet there's, there's this kind of paradigm that we haven't been able to overcome. And this is what things like courses and one-on-one coaching can help you with because you're getting an outside perspective that can look at your situation and recommend techniques, recommend processes so that you can actually break through that. Because once we break through our own paradigm, There's absolutely nothing that is off limits. And so if you guys are needing assistance, I'm happy to support you. The information is going to be down below in the description box. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.